It's just really neat thinking back to the 40s and 50s. Locals and the federal agencies were working very closely together to build Pine Flat Dam. That was completed in 1954. But they had the foresight at that time to include the penstocks in that dam because power was not built in the 50s. Power actually came along later when that came under KRCD. Jeff Taylor started this project way before in the early 70s. He had the vision to put in a power plant here. It was amazing that Pine Flat was built in the 50s and some engineer that built the dam had the idea of putting penstocks through the bottom of the dam. When the time came and it was feasible, we were able to build the power plant and connect to the penstocks and start this. A hydroelectric plant is very unique in that it uses water to create electricity and then you can use the water downstream later on to run through another plant and make electricity again. That water is reusable all the time to generate electricity and it's clean energy. You know, this project providing electricity to the state water project and that's the entire state of California now. So we're helping to support 750,000 additional acreage throughout California. It's providing water to 27 million residents in California. But the hydropower, it's, it's kind of clean and green. So the water flows in from the top of the dam into our unit, uh, makes clean power. So there is no coal, no like combustible fuel, anything involved in there, right? Turbine, it does not consume water. It's just like passing through the water right, from the dam into the downstream King's River. They have a Hitachi city where they, the low bidder was making the turbines for the generation of the electricity. I happened to be in that area I was given a nice, quite uh, intensive tour up to the plant and I was fortunate to be able to oversee and watch the construction of the turbines there. The reason why they have three is because we have the three pen stocks, number one, and if one should fail, there's always the next one that we could turn on. And so it's kind of like a standby. And if there's enough water there, we could maybe turn two of them on. It's better to build three smaller ones than one giant large one. In case it fails, then you have major problems. We've never failed to start when called upon and the availability is just matched by none. I think the staff is probably you know, one of the biggest assets we have out here. Uh, they do a great job. Those are the ones who keep the plant up and running 24-7. What we do in hydroelectric power, we work in a very hazardous and dangerous uh, environment, and there's no second chances. We have a great safety record. Everybody buys into the safety. It's a culture. Uh, we started this culture when the plant first started back in 1982. Most important thing is everybody goes home at night to see their families, and we get the job done safely. I'm very proud of the KRCD team. I'm very proud of the team that's taking care of this facility and their dedication. And you can see it when you walk through this, that they're very proud of what they do. They are the key people, the people that do the work every day, 24 hours a day, thinking about what needs to be done. Every time I drive up here and I'm coming around that hill for the first time and I get that first glimpse of the dam and it kind of gives me goosebumps, you know, thinking about, you know, what our predecessors were thinking, what our predecessors wanted to do. And then even when I'm down the valley floor and I see the water that's running, you know, from the river, out into irrigation fields, out into you know, farm fields, and knowing that that power not only is providing irrigation water, the lifeblood of the valley, you know, food for the world, that water also ran through our power plant here. So you talk about a really neat multi-beneficial use resource. It's just something that I'm very proud of, and I know the KRCD board has always been very proud of.